Hi everyone, I'm Dan with Merrick Products. Today we're going to be shooting two installation videos. Part one will be the mold board conversion kit and part two will be the clock conversion system. So let's get started. This is the John Deere 54 plow that we'll be using for part one of the video, installation of the mold board conversion kit. Now the plow is mounted to a frame that simulates the front end of a John Deere tractor. This allows us to shoot the video indoors in a more controlled environment. You'll also notice that the lift ram has been replaced by a piece of all-thread rod. This is for demonstration purposes only. This allows us to raise and lower the plow as you would during installation. Also, the hydraulic angle ram has been drained of hydraulic fluid. So when we rotate the mold board, we don't have any hydraulic fluid leaking out. So before we get started, we're going to quickly go over what comes in the kit, what tools you'll need, and we'll review some safety topics. In the moldboard conversion kit, you'll receive a 54 and a half inch wide by 13 and a half inch deep bottom plate. You'll receive right and left side wings and a mounting bracket. You'll also receive all the required mounting hardware. Now let's review the tools required to install the moldboard conversion kit. Starting on the left side of your screen, you'll need a ratchet, you'll need a one half and three quarter inch socket, you'll need a three quarter inch wrench. We recommend a wire brush for removing any corrosion you may have on your moldboard that's under the cutting edge. We recommend two two inch C-clamps, a minimum of two inches. You'll need a marker, a center punch, and a hammer. You'll need an assortment of drill bits and a drill. I recommend starting with a 1 16th drill bit and working up to a 5 16th drill bit. You'll need a one foot length of chain. This chain is a 3 16th diameter. And you'll need a heavy duty S hook. This one is 5 16th diameter. We recommend a 24 inch pry bar to remove the trip springs. And we also recommend a rag to place under the pry bar to keep from scratching your mold board. You'll need a pair of pliers to remove the cotter pin from the pivot shaft. And you may also need a punch to remove the pivot shaft. At Merrick Products, we cannot put enough emphasis on safety. During assembly, you should be wearing safety glasses and abrasion resistant gloves. You should utilize blocking material to support loads and get assistance if lifting heavy loads, or use proper lifting devices. And finally, refer to the assembly manual and pay special attention to sections highlighted with caution symbols. Our first step is to remove the cutting edge from the moldboard. It's held on by these 10 bolts here. And also, if you have any skids or shoes, uh, now would be the time to remove those as well. Let's get started. If you have a pneumatic wrench or an electric one, by all means use that. It will make the process go a little faster. With the hardware supplied in the kit, we'll now take the one inch long carriage bolts and we'll align the holes of the bottom plate with the mold board. We'll do the two ends and we'll secure them with a washer and a nut. We now have the bottom plate secure. We have all the carriage bolts. They've been drawn in properly. Each carriage bolt has a washer, a lock washer, and nut on the back. And they're all just hand tight at this point. So you can see we have some play. We're now going to install the side wings. Those will be temporary. We're gonna install them. We're gonna mark where we need to drill. 
We'll take the side wings off, we'll drill the holes, and then we'll reinstall the side wings. So let's get started. Be using lock washers now. Uh, we will use a washer though um, because these are coming back off. Okay, now they're clamped. We're going to mark where the holes go with a marker. Then we'll use a center punch and then a drill. So let's get our marker. With the side wings removed, this is a close-up shot of our marks that we now must center punch and drill. Starting with the 1 drill bit, we'll drill through the mold board. With the right and left side wings installed, we'll now move on to removing the trip springs. I'll do that using a 24 inch pry bar. We'll place a rag on top of the mold board and we'll use an S hook around the chain. So I'm going to reposition myself on top of the table so I can get some better leverage. All right, we'll now lift up and remove the trip spring. There's one. Take that from here. Slide it back through. And repeat on the right side. Coming back up. Coming back up. And just to show you how easy it is to Put the trip strings back on from this position. We just reverse the process. Lift up. And drop it back on. It's that easy. Now that the trip strings are removed, we can install the mounting bracket. We install this with the one half inch bolts. The washers supplied in the kit. We will keep these hand tight for now because we'll need to adjust the bracket to the plow conversion system when we install that onto the plow frame in part two of this video. And the final step is to remove the cotter pin and remove the shaft. So we'll do that with a pair of pliers. Remove the lock, which was engaged. This is the completed moldboard conversion kit. That took about an hour to install, and in that time we installed the bottom plate, we drilled six holes through the moldboard, we installed the right and left side wings, we removed two trip springs, we installed the mounting bracket, and the last step was to remove the pivot shaft which freed the moldboard from the plow frame.
So I hope this video shows how easy it is to install the mobile conversion kit. And please check out part two of the video, installation of the plow conversion system onto the plow frame. If you have any questions, please check us out at MerrickProducts.com. And thanks for watching.